Hardware is the foundation of your network. A secure and therefore highly available network is essential to the success of your operation. So, the first step on your security journey should be to protect your network infrastructure itself. With a few simple actions, you can regulate access to your network devices. The hardened devices will then provide a solid foundation on which to build your secure Ethernet network. Let's start by looking at ways to secure the communication to your switches and routers. In the past, Hirschman's philosophy has been to make our products as simple as possible to use. This included maximizing the number of methods which can be used to connect to them. But today, security takes priority over ease of use. We still continue to support unsecure communication protocols such as SNMP version 1, uh, SNMP version 2, Telnet and HTTP. But by default, they are now disabled. Feel free to enable them if this is required on your network. Encrypted protocols such as HTTPS and Secure Shell are enabled. But even here, a small amount of work is required to increase the effectiveness of the protocols. By default, your network infrastructure devices can be accessed from any PC attached to the network. This is convenient when commissioning your network, but for live operation, it makes sense to limit access. A simple and effective way to achieve this is to restrict access to specified IP addresses, typically PCs under your control. Of course, IP addresses can be spoofed, but as we will see later, spoofing can be prevented. For even stronger security, this technique can be taken a step further. Specify which protocols can be used by each IP address. For example, allow SNMP from a management station, but maybe not from an engineering workstation. VLANs were developed to allow the creation of multiple independent logical networks running on a single physical network. Devices in one VLAN are unaware of devices in another, or even that there is another. This makes VLANs an ideal tool for network security. HiOS allows you to create a VLAN for the management interface of each switch and the ports where the network management stations are connected. As a result, the switches and management stations can communicate, but they are hidden from the network users. Security is increased as end users connected to the network cannot see or communicate with the network infrastructure. 